Good day, esteemed audience. Today I am here to address a crucial topic as a dedicated advocate for public health. Don't eat this even if you die. Foods to avoid even if you die, which are actually worse for you than cigarettes and alcohol. In this lecture, we will unveil the top five foods that, according to scientific research, should be steered clear of due to their significant health hazards. Let's delve into this critical subject and explore which foods can potentially be more detrimental to your well-being than some well-known vices like cigarettes and alcohol. Number five place, processed meat. Today, I want to address a topic that is critically important for our health and well-being, the consumption of processed meats. This is not just a matter of personal preference or dietary choice. It's a significant public health concern. Let's delve deeply into why processed meats occupy the fifth place on our list of foods to avoid even more dangerous than cigarettes and alcohol in certain aspects. Processed meats include products like sausages, bacon, ham, salami, and hot dogs, foods that are common in many of our diets. But what exactly makes these foods so harmful? The answer lies in their composition and the process used to make them. Firstly, processed meats are often high in harmful compounds such as nitrates and nitrites, used as preservatives and to enhance color. When consumed, these compounds can form nitrosamines in the body, which are known carcinogens. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as a group one carcinogen, meaning there is sufficient evidence that they cause cancer in humans, particularly colorectal cancer. The evidence supporting this classification is substantial. A significant study by the International Agency for Research on Cancer reviewed over 800 studies and found that every 50-gram portion of processed meat eaten daily increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. That's the equivalent of about four strips of bacon or one hot dog. But the risks extend beyond cancer. Processed meats are typically high in saturated fats and salt, which are risk factors for heart disease and stroke. They're also linked to other health issues like type 2 diabetes. A study in the American Journal of Epidemiology found that high consumption of processed meats is associated with a 42% higher risk of heart disease and a 19% higher risk of type 2 diabetes. It's important to note that these risks are not just about the presence of specific compounds. It's the combination of high salt, high fat, preservatives, and the cooking methods often used for these meats, such as frying or grilling, which can create additional harmful chemicals. Now, let's consider the comparison with cigarettes and alcohol. While the mechanisms of harm are different, the concern is similar, a significant and preventable risk to public health. Just as we have become more aware of the risks of smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, it's crucial to recognize the dangers posed by regular consumption of processed meats. So what should we do? The key is not necessarily to eliminate these foods entirely, but to consume them in moderation. Opt for unprocessed meats, and when you do consume processed meats, try to choose products with reduced sodium and nitrate content. Incorporating more plant-based proteins into your diet is also a healthier choice. In conclusion, the consumption of processed meats is a serious health concern. As consumers, we need to be aware of these risks and make informed choices about our diets. Just as we have learned to moderate our consumption of other harmful substances like cigarettes and alcohol, we must also consider the impact of our food choices on our health. Thank you for your attention, and let's strive for a healthier future by making more informed dietary decisions. Number four place, sugary drinks. Moving forward to the fourth item on our list of foods to avoid at all costs, we turn our focus to sugary drinks. These beverages encompassing sodas, sweetened teas, and energy drinks are more than just simple refreshments. They represent a significant health hazard with impacts potentially more detrimental than even cigarettes and alcohol in certain aspects. Today, I will shed light on the scientific evidence behind the harmful effects of sugary drinks. Sugary drinks are a major source of added sugars in many diets and are closely linked to a host of health issues. The primary concern with these beverages is their high sugar content, which contributes significantly to obesity, type 2 diabetes, and dental decay. Let's unpack these risks in more detail. Obesity is perhaps the most visible consequence of regular consumption of sugary drinks. These beverages are high in calories but low in satiety, meaning they don't make you feel full. This can lead to an increase in overall calorie intake. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed a strong link between the consumption of sugary drinks and weight gain in both children and adults. The impact on diabetes is equally concerning. High intake of sugary drinks increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. 
These beverages cause rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels, which, over time, can lead to insulin resistance. A comprehensive review in the journal Diabetes Care found that those who consumed one, two servings of sugary drinks per day had a 26% greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who consumed none. Dental health is another area severely impacted by sugary drinks. They contribute to tooth decay due to their high sugar content and acidity, which can erode tooth enamel. The World Health Organization has highlighted the role of sugar in the development of dental diseases, noting that dental decay is the most prevalent non-communicable disease globally. Now let's compare these effects with those of cigarettes and alcohol. While the mechanisms of harm differ, the scale of impact, particularly on population health, is significant. Sugary drinks contribute to widespread health issues that, like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, create substantial health care costs and reduce quality of life. So what should we do? The answer lies in reducing consumption of these sugary beverages. Opt for water, herbal teas, or other unsweetened drinks. Educating ourselves and our communities about the risks associated with sugary drinks is also crucial. Just as public health campaigns have been effective in reducing smoking rates, similar efforts are needed to curb the consumption of sugary drinks. In conclusion, sugary drinks, due to their contribution to obesity, diabetes, and dental decay, occupy a deservedly high spot on our list of dangerous foods. The risks associated with these beverages are profound and warrant serious consideration and action. Thank you for your attention and let's commit to making healthier beverage choices for the sake of our long-term health. Number three place, trans fats. Advancing to the third position on our critical list of foods to avoid, we focus on a particularly insidious ingredient found in many of our daily consumables, trans fats. Trans fats, often present in fried foods, baked goods, and certain types of margarine, pose a substantial risk to our health, with effects that can be considered even more damaging than habitual smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Let me unravel the science behind the dangers of trans fats. Trans fats are a type of unsaturated fat that have been chemically altered through a process known as hydrogenation. This process solidifies liquid oils, making them more stable for cooking and enhancing the shelf life of products. However, the health implications of consuming trans fats are severe and multifaceted. One of the most critical consequences of trans fat consumption is its impact on heart health. Trans fats are notorious for their role in increasing the risk of coronary heart disease. They contribute to the buildup of plaque inside the arteries, leading to atherosclerosis. This occurs because trans fats increase levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, while simultaneously decreasing high-density lipoprotein, HDL, known as good cholesterol. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine highlighted that even a small intake of trans fats significantly increases the risk of coronary heart disease. Beyond heart disease, trans fats have been linked to an increased risk of stroke and type 2 diabetes. They contribute to inflammation, insulin resistance, and endothelial dysfunction, all of which are risk factors for these conditions. The Harvard School of Public Health estimates that eliminating trans fats from the food supply could prevent up to one in five heart attacks and related deaths. Now let's juxtapose the risks of trans fats with those of smoking and alcohol. While cigarettes and alcohol are widely recognized as major health risks, trans fats are often consumed unknowingly, hidden in everyday foods, this makes them particularly dangerous, as individuals may consume them in significant quantities without realizing their potential harm. So what can we do to avoid these risks? The most effective strategy is to carefully read food labels and avoid products containing partially hydrogenated oils, the primary source of trans fats. Opting for fresh whole foods over processed items is also a safer choice. Additionally, Awareness and education about the dangers of trans fats are crucial, similar to public health efforts against smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. In conclusion, trans fats occupy a critical spot on our list of the most harmful foods. Their impact on heart health, stroke risk, and diabetes makes them a significant public health concern. It's imperative that we make informed choices about the foods we consume and advocate for trans fat-free alternatives in our food supply. Thank you for your attention, and let's make a collective effort to eliminate this hidden danger from our diets. Number two, place, artificial sweeteners and additives. Proceeding to the second spot on our list of perilous foods to avoid, we encounter artificial sweeteners and additives. These substances are commonly found in a plethora of diet sodas, sugar-free products, and processed foods. 
Despite their widespread usage and the allure of being healthier alternatives to sugar, the reality is that artificial sweeteners and additives can be more harmful to your health than traditional vices like cigarettes and alcohol. Let's delve into the scientific evidence supporting this assertion. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin are synthetic sugar substitutes that are often used to sweeten foods and drinks without adding calories. Initially, these substances were developed to help people reduce sugar intake and control weight. However, recent research suggests that artificial sweeteners may paradoxically contribute to weight gain, disrupt gut microbiota, and increase the risk of metabolic diseases. One of the primary concerns with artificial sweeteners is their effect on the body's metabolism and appetite regulation. Studies have indicated that these sweeteners can disrupt the body's natural ability to regulate calorie intake. This disruption can lead to increased appetite, cravings for sweet foods, and ultimately contribute to weight gain and obesity. A study in the journal Nature showed that artificial sweeteners could alter the gut bacteria in ways that affect glucose metabolism, potentially leading to glucose intolerance and an increased risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Additionally, artificial additives, including certain food colorings and preservatives, are another cause for concern. Some of these additives have been linked to adverse health effects, including behavioral problems in children such as hyperactivity and attention deficits. There is also growing concern about the potential carcinogenic effects of certain artificial additives. Now let's compare these risks with those associated with smoking and alcohol. While smoking and alcohol are known for their direct and severe health impacts, the effects of artificial sweeteners and additives can be more insidious and may not manifest immediately. However, their contribution to chronic health issues like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease, as well as potential neurological effects, makes them equally concerning. So what should we do to mitigate these risks? The most effective approach is to reduce the consumption of products containing artificial sweeteners and additives. Opting for natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup in moderation can be a healthier choice. It's also important to read food labels carefully and choose products made with natural whole ingredients. Educating ourselves about the potential health risks of artificial sweeteners and additives is crucial for making informed dietary choices. In conclusion, artificial sweeteners and additives occupy the second spot on our list due to their potentially detrimental impacts on health, which can rival those of smoking and alcohol. Being mindful of our consumption of these substances is vital for maintaining long-term health and well-being. Thank you for your attention and let's strive to make healthier, more natural choices in our diets. Number one place, ultra-processed foods. Finally, we reach the summit of our list. The number one category of foods to avoid, arguably more detrimental to your health than cigarettes and alcohol, ultra-processed foods. These are not merely unhealthy choices, their consumption poses significant risks to our overall health and well-being. Let's explore the substantial body of scientific evidence that underlines why ultra-processed foods are at the top of our list. Ultra-processed foods encompass a wide range of products, from sugary cereals and snacks to frozen pizzas and ready-to-eat meals. These foods are not just processed, which in some cases can be benign, but are heavily modified with additives like sweeteners, preservatives, color agents, and flavor enhancers. They are often high in added sugars, unhealthy fats, and salt while being low in essential nutrients. The health implications of consuming ultra-processed foods are vast and concerning. One of the most significant issues is their contribution to the obesity epidemic. These foods are typically calorie-dense and low in satiety, leading to overeating and weight gain. A study published in BMJ found that higher consumption of ultra-processed foods was associated with a higher risk of obesity, heart disease, and all-cause mortality. Moreover, the high content of added sugars and unhealthy fats in ultra-processed foods can lead to an increased risk of heart disease and diabetes. These foods contribute to the buildup of harmful LDL cholesterol, increase in blood pressure, and impairment in insulin sensitivity. A study in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology linked high consumption of ultra-processed foods to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Another alarming aspect of ultra-processed foods is their impact on cancer risk. Research published in the BMJ showed that a 10% increase in the proportion of ultra-processed foods in the diet was associated with a significant increase in the overall rate of cancer. This relationship is thought to be due to the myriad of additives, high levels of sugar and fat, and the low fiber content in these foods. 
comparing the risks associated with ultra-processed foods to those of smoking and alcohol. It becomes evident that while the latter are recognized for their direct and immediate health risks, the former poses a more covert threat. Ultra-processed foods contribute to the development of chronic diseases that are leading causes of death worldwide. So what can we do? The solution lies in shifting our dietary patterns towards whole, minimally processed foods. This includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. It's also crucial to become savvy consumers by reading labels and being aware of the ingredients in our food. In conclusion, ultra-processed foods, due to their profound impact on public health, occupy the top spot on our list. Their widespread consumption is a major contributor to the global health crises of obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Avoiding these foods and choosing healthier, minimally processed alternatives is one of the most effective ways to protect and enhance our health. Thank you for joining me in this important discussion, and let's make conscious food choices for a healthier future. Conclusion In conclusion, these top five foods, processed meats, sugary drinks, trans fats, artificial sweeteners and additives, and ultra-processed foods, pose significant health risks and should be avoided as much as possible. They are potentially more damaging to your health than known vices like cigarettes and alcohol. By being mindful of our food choices and opting for whole, minimally processed foods, we can greatly improve our health and well-being. Thank you for joining me in this important discussion, and I encourage you all to make informed and health-conscious dietary choices.